welcome back today for a video I have a few new products that I just wanted to test out with you guys you're gonna have to see the video to see my review it's very interesting to say the least I went to Walmart the other day and I saw a lot of new products from the drugstore so I was like oh my gosh I want to try these out I feel like I haven't shopped in the drugstore in so long I've just been going to Sephora and I need to put that to all a few things I just want to talk about if you guys saw my last video it was my meet my apartment video. <laughs> the quality of that video was so disappointing. I got a new camera off of Amazon just to do vlogs, just so I have something to use. And I could not get over the quality. I'm definitely going to return that camera. I'm sorry that the quality was complete shit, <laughs> but that was footage that I'm not gonna be able to refilm because it was me moving into my new apartment and obviously I can just be like oh let's do that again <laughs> that's the last time I'm going to be using that camera because it's complete garbage if you guys haven't subscribed make sure that you do it'll mean a lot to me you should jump right into this video okay so I slapped on my brows real quick now we're going to move into skin it's hard candy sheer envy instant eye fix under eye treatment it depuffs, brightens, smooths, primes, and moisturizes. So we're just gonna place that underneath the Ivan bowls. That'd be good for no makeup makeup days. The subscriber gave this to me, so that was so nice of her. I really enjoy that. It actually feels good on the eye. Now we're gonna go into the foundation. This is the Rimmel Clean Finish Foundation. This is in the shade 340 Nude. I tried this in store. It definitely oxidized. So I went down a shade. It comes with like a little spatula applicator. It's so weird. It's definitely not full coverage. The finish is really nice. It's more on the natural side. This foundation was super cheap. It was $3.97, I believe. It was such a good price. So that's one layer. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm not a super full coverage kind of girl. I actually like when my freckles and stuff peek through. I just don't like when I have a mask of foundation on. Huh. I think it kind of emphasizes texture a little. Making me look older than I am. From far away it looks really good. So far I'm not crazy about this foundation. Milani Touch and Erase Concealer. I got mine in the shade Medium Light. Huh. There's this little spongy in it. It's so funny. I actually don't mind this concealer. It's not the best, but it doesn't look that bad underneath the eyes. Rimmel Match Perfection Loose Setting Powder. This is in the shade Transparent. I think they only have one shade. Comes with a little puff, which is nice. I love these for after I spray my face with my setting spray. I just like tap it into the skin. I think I'm gonna go into this Flower Beauty brush. This is actually on sale because Walmart has discontinued Flower Beauty. The packaging's so cute. This feels really soft. Okay, I'm just gonna tap this in there. <laughs> Try this powder underneath the eyeball. I feel like it weighs on the skin. It doesn't really melt into the skin. My skin looks like crap. My skin now looks super textured. Yeah, I'm not digging this at all. My C bronzer. I'm gonna use this Revlon brush. I thought that this was literally the most perfect shaped stipple brush. I take my blush brush. 
So now we're going to try the Milani highlighter. I love the packaging. It looks really pretty. Oh my god, these face products are not working for me at all. This emphasizes texture. Oh, so this is like the biggest fail. You see how bad my texture looks? First shade I'm going to go into is Rosemary, which is actually my mom's name, so I thought that was kind of funny. I kind of want to do like a fall look. Then going into Bing Bing, these names. I'm going to mainly put this like all over my eye bowl. I'm going to blend it in the crease and then blend it down. Alana, which is like this shimmery purple. Ooh, that's pretty. It has like a red undertone to it. It's really cool. I'm going to go in with Harley, which is a dark brown color. Right here. I'm going to smash that underneath my lower lash line. Take a blending brush and take Bing Bing. Lola in the inner corner. This is just like a light champagne color. And I'm just going to do mascara. L'Oreal Voluptuous Lash Paradise. Guys, this mascara... I don't know why everyone has hyped it up. It's not anything special. I'm going to take this Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color in Rosetta. I'm just going to take some of this Tarte Ready Set Radiant Spray, shake it up. Little puff. <laughs> Just tap the skin. The last thing I want to show you guys is how to use a um, transforming top coat. So you can choose any lip color that you want. This is the Alta Lip Plumping Transforming Top Coat. This is in the shade Utopia. It's so pretty. I usually just dab it right in the middle of my lip. Look at that. Mm. And then just rub my lips together. That completes this makeup look. Hope you guys enjoyed. A lot of the products actually didn't work out for me, which is unfortunate, but sometimes that happens, so <laughs> well, <laughs> that's why you gotta keep your receipts. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.